Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial video for the Cossack 1 fight in uh, Mega Man 4. Um, specifically, uh, a few of the boss fights um, have some pretty particular movement, and I figured I would make a quick little description video of what's actually going on during this fight. Um, so obviously there's nothing whole lot here. I, I usually change the ring before entering this fight um, so that... Uh, I can start doing what I want to do in the fight right away. So as you can see here, we come in. Obviously the boss health fills. <clears throat> now the first thing that I'm going to do is I walk a little bit forward and I walk sort of about to this little spot, this section here on the floor. It's I kind of play it by ear because my visual cue is actually um, to jump when Mothraya uh, actually moves up and then just starts to come down. When he starts to drop down, that's when you'll notice that that's sort of my cue to jump up and do the first shot. Ideally, what we want to have happen here is um, I'm going to move in, I'm going to jump, get my first hit in, then I'm going to jump up again and do a full jump straight up and do a second shot to hit him a second time. And doing that quickly enough is also going to manipulate his first bullet uh, to go straight across the screen at me so that by the time I've shot him with the second shot I'll have dropped back to the ground and he'll shoot over top of me and miss me and then I'll jump up and hit him again a third time I'll land and then he's going to shoot at me again when I'm on the ground and that's perfect because I'm going to have that's another cue that I'll jump over that and shoot him a fourth time and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate his bullets so that one goes over top of me one goes below me underneath me like this and the other one goes over top of me. And the entire time in that fight, you want to, you can only hit him when he comes down. Like moth, uh, the moth sort of moves up and down through his cycle, and you can only hit him when he's low. Um, so you're trying to time your jumps in a way that um, you avoid the bullets, but you also jump uh, to be able to hit him when he's low, uh, so that you can get er uh, hits in as soon as possible, basically. So you're gonna notice here that I'm gonna come in, jump up. Get that third hit in, manipulate those bullets in that way so that um, the two are going to go over top of me and the other one's going to go above me, or below me, sorry. Okay, so let's rewind this a little bit. So the thing that's really the, uh, the hardest part that's not really um, necessarily obvious is the second jump up. You're going to notice the second jump up is immediate once I land after the first hit. So I'm going to come up. There you see that Moth started to move downward. That was my cue to do my first jump and shoot. Um, after the ring is going to hit, I'm going to do an immediate jump up again. And then I'm going to shoot my second shot. And here he's already shot the bullet, so you can see the bullet's going to be coming straight at me. But because I'm already at the peak of my jump, I'm going to fall, obviously, faster than the bullet travels. So I'm going to actually drop down straight to the ground, and the bullet's going to go right over top of me like this. I'm going to then jump back up again to hit him a third time because he's still low. So before he goes back up, I want to hit him again a third time. Then, because I'm down on the ground, he's going to shoot at me again down uh, another bullet, which is perfect for me because I'm ready to jump up and hit him again for uh, another hit. Now, um, he's going back up, so now I have to wait for him to come back down a little bit. So I'm going to hesitate on the ground a little bit, and then I'm going to jump up again to meet him as he comes back down again. And that's going to cause him to shoot again straight across over top of me. Right there. So I'm falling, you notice, so the bullet's not going to hit me. I'm, I'm well um, out of reach of that. And now all I have to do, because Moth only will shoot three bullets, and then he will always use his spike. After that third bullet, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can just take my time and get those last two hits in while he comes down in his cycle. So hopefully this was a little bit uh, of a good description for what actually happens in this fight.